guys, welcome back to another episode of Medieval Dynasty. So we're going to get some refreshments today and then go and deliver that parcel over at that corner of the map. Uh, we have a quest to go up here, so we'll have to go up there and uh, deliver a parcel. So we'll do that uh, just in a second. I just need to refill on some of the um, food and stuff and then we'll be on our way. So I'm just going to grab actually a little bit of this uh, so we can... Um, get over there. So we have a mysterious parcel. We have our uh, bows and our arrows and stuff. So uh, we're gonna eat some of this. That should keep us um, good for a while. All right. So let's head on out. <clears throat> Just um, follow this path, and um, if there's any goods along the way, then we'll pick that up. Ooh. Actually, that would be one of our spears. Didn't realize we dropped it. Probably never picked it up after aiming at something. Sometimes you find stuff that you've thrown before. Alright, so we'll just go this way and we should be clear for bandits. I think I got most of the uh, spots that they hang out at uh, all cleared out. Check to see if there's any barrels or anything around there. <laughs> now this is definitely the more safer route to go as well. Well, minus the bandits. And usually there's like a node here for something uh, that spawns like one of those uh, logging sites. Uh, we, sh we should still keep our eye open for bandits just down the on the slight chance that they do might still stop or still might spawn, so we don't want to have any conflict or anything like that. There is this though, by the looks of it. Uh, strength, divine sovereignty. We will need that. Uh, night vision. Just checking to see if there's anything else. Poison. Looks like everything. Okay, good to go. So we'll head this way. Uh, it doesn't look like the camps are there, so that's good. Looks like the fence is doing the job then. There should be an another...
All right, so this is my plan of attack. I'm going to actually build another logging um, building. And we're going to assign that person that we got for extraction in our town to the other building. And then what will happen is we'll get an extra, extra logs that can come here. And then during the night, uh, what we can do is we can pile it into uh, the guy's house. This is at least the idea. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. And then we can start stocking up to like a thousand logs. So it is a thousand logs. I was correct on that part. And um, it will take a little bit of time to accumulate. Probably a couple seasons, no doubt. But um, because we have the extra storage here, we don't need to travel far for actually delivering the items. Like they're linked together, right? So if we open up this, we can see that we have all our items here as well. So it's like a basically a portal between our two warehouses or storage sheds or whatever we want to call it. Uh, we also have enough weight for 20,000 kilograms. I'm not sure how much a log is. I think it's... Uh, let's see. Weight 75. Um, hmm. One sec. Let me just empty some of this stuff into here and then we'll uh, test that out. I need one log. So it's 2.5. So we'll have to make a couple trips to offload it into his house before then. But um, outside of that, I think that will probably work well because he's just down the street here. We'll have to make a few trips to uh, deliver it. But I believe it's the first house on the street here. Yeah, it looks like it. So all we need to do is basically go in here drop the logs, giving that he sleeps there, we'll, we can drop the logs somewhere around here, or even outside maybe? I'm not sure about the train, they might roll around a little bit, but um, yeah, we could definitely put them somewhere around here or inside the house, and then when he goes to the door, uh, we could just hand it over to him. And that's him right there, so it should be easy enough to do. But that's the idea. Um, we still need to build a logging shed, so let's go ahead and go back to our town. Uh, this will take probably a while to accumulate the logs that we do need. And um, it's not a season thing or anything like that. It's going to be a few seasons <laughs> for sure. But uh, we, ha we should have plenty of time to still do the quest and stuff like that. So... Um, also, that means I get to finally complete this achievement on uh, Steam as well, so it's like...
Alright, so I got a bunch of daub and we're ready to start upgrading some stuff. I built a small woodshed over here, so they'll be producing some logs. Uh, about 65 per day, if I remember correctly. And uh, we can start finishing upgrading uh, these, uh, this building and we can start working on the... Um, I think the, the barn would be a good idea to start working on. We can start working on some of those. So this one's finally finished, and this is the next one in line, so let's start working on that. Uh, she's still making um, daub, so uh, as much as daub's not really worth a lot, it's still good for upgrading buildings, so. Like, I mean, they charge a lot for it, but <laughs> I think that's just because it's needed. It's really just a useless item uh, when you look at it at the economy wise uh, because it's um, just mud and straw so it's pretty priceless to begin with. So, But uh, it's great for upgrading like um, these buildings or wood buildings so yeah, we're not going to have enough to finish this but uh, it's a good start. We got that side all done and that one. So we only have like three panels left to do. So a couple more days. And then we can start working on the storage shed over here. Now the other storage shed, I don't plan on keeping. Um, most likely what I'll end up doing is I'll probably empty it over on this one and then have everyone just stop doing what they're doing or whatever. And then we'll go ahead and... Um, I guess demolish it. I don't know if that's going to work. Last time I had a little bit of a difficulty dis destroying it because the chest was full, but because it shares the inventory. So I'm not sure how that's going to work, but we needed the storage over there in order to do the achievement. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. All right, so let's go ahead and um, we need to... <laughs> Yeah, we need to uh, hunt a whole bunch of stuff. A bear uh, was sent, and a moose. Um, we also need to craft a bow, which is kind of ironic because we already have a bow, but um, we should be able to get away with crafting a, another one. We'll need 10 of these, I think. We'll need one of those. What we actually need is something a little bit more powerful than um, a regular bow. So I'm going to craft up. Well, we'll see how much we need uh, for...
guys. So we got a lot done today. We got uh, some rye planted. We got uh, the started on that 1,000 log quest, and we got um, a, a little bit of organization done as well. I um, put some of the food stuff in baskets, and there's potions over here. Uh, we are thirsty, so I should probably get something to drink. But uh, there's also, we built that woodshed, and we also built the um, storage shed over on the other place, so we have easy link between the two towns to get the, um, the supplies off and over to a new storage place. So it's perfect. Um, I also baked, cooked up a lot of food, so we could get that all set up. Now, with the quest for the a big game, um, what we need to do is actually, um, get a better bow, because I don't think a regular bow is going to do a bear just fine, neither a ascent. So we're going to want to get a, um, uh, recurve bow, which is way better than a regular bow. Uh, basically the long bow is in between the two, so... Anyhow, uh, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.